coin in their basket they just change like pose. Meanwhile this guy gets 27 hours of entertainment for 4 euro and he's still mad. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I don't have the game. Welcome back. You were missed. Hey, my man. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Oh wow, you can move with your mouse now as well. Or could you always move with your mouse? Could you always move with your mouse? I need to get a chest real quick. You could always move with your mouse. I like moving with the keyboard though. Um, what happened to the music? Fun thing of Empire of Survivors is that a guy calls in JavaScript and then another Fixed, guy comes along and pulls it to production I engine. said this might be one of those no progress days. I just had a feeling. Watching you play this now makes me pretty certain though. Ah, oh, you're an idiot. Dude, wait. Just wait. I need to know how the animation is done, how is he drawing it, okay? I want to see it with my own eyes. And for that, I need to kill this bat, okay? Let me make a screenshot. That's all we need to do. Oh my god. I'm dying. He didn't drop a chest. He didn't drop a chest. I need to... I need a chest. I thought he would drop a chest. Okay, I need to wait for the next dude. Chest? Yeah, I need a chest. Come on. I need a boss. When does the boss spawn that gives me a chest, guys? The chest animation of Vampire Survivors is so long, it gets boring pretty fast, and you hit five items, it's unskippable. It's fine, because I just want to know how he's done it. I don't want to do the exact same animation. I just want to see how he's doing it. Uh, you know. I want to know, are the gems that are falling down, are these separate quads? Or is this just one animation that he baked into it? Basically stuff like that. But I just need to find a chest for that. Yeah, this is why Rando Dock is open, of course. How's the tower defense going? Yeah, I'm currently trying to make, uh, trying to research how uh, chest animation is done. I want to add an item drops to the game. Come on. 
Kill him. Kill him. There you go. Okay, so that is the chest animation. Let's see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is an animation. Okay. Fuck. Whatever. Squish and stretch. Okay. Now we can look at this. How is this done? What is this, by the way? Is this DirectX 11? Is it not done with sprites as usual? The character rock run, etc. No, the chest animation is... Let's see here. Output. Okay, it's OpenGL, I think. Draw index. Is it OpenGL or is it Vulkan? Ah, uh, Vulkan. Map, unmap. <coughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. The, this is where the UI starts. It's not OpenGL. This draws. Oh wow, look at this, guys. Looks like direct X11 commands. Look at this. What is this? Very interesting. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is this? Huh? Oh, it is extending them because of some engine shit where... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember why you want to extend these, but the reason why you extend them... It, it, there's a reason why you want to extend these. Yeah, I remember. Makes it very difficult to... to read. What is actually in the atlas? Okay, whatever. Yikes. Look at this. Okay, it comes from here, boys. Uh, yeah. Wonder where that comes from. It's probably because of PNG encoding and no manual algorithm pixel extension. Yeah. Something with extension, yeah. So there must be something in here that looks like that sprite. It's one quad. It's this one right here. This is it. He draws that twice. That's what he's drawing. He's drawing it transparently and he's drawing it twice. And then he draws these circles. Mm. Yeah, and these are nine sliced menus that he has here. Uh, this is a nine sliced menu. Very simple. And then, oh, he's drawing... He's even making this bright here. Yeah, he's drawing another one on top. See that? He's making it bright. With another... Another one of these. I think it's one of these here. One of these lights that he has. Must be one of them. Interesting. 
Also a lot of redundant crap. Oh yeah, and now he starts to put in the number, the coin, the chest. Huh. Is this an animation? Or is this an instant straw call? Cakes, Wait. you know how we steal from a lot of different random games. Diablo, Vampire Survivors, Celeste, Darkest Dungeon, Stardew Valley, Go to, to name a few. Anyway, what I wanna ask, how come we never steal from Super Q's game? Don't you think he gets a little sad when we don't do that? <laughs> What are you talking about? What the fuck? This is a volume. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? We have one here. Why is there so many up here? See that? Lol. It's just shown in 3D space. Damn. Check GDS out for a second. How do I do that? Doesn't do anything. Doesn't doesn't give me anything. See that? Interesting. So these are the coins. Basically, these are the coins. And they are particle systems. That's a particle system that... Uh-huh. I meant the tab, top, middle. Right, but it's okay. Nothing. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so this is a particle system. This is another particle system, it looks like. We have silver coins. What the fuck is this? What? Eh? How is this done? Is that a trail? Holy shit. Look at this. Guys. This is a trail. Just is something similar to what I'm doing with my swords. Wow. So, guys, when you're saying, you know, when you're saying that the Vampire Survivors is an easy game, right? Or a small game. All of these things, you need to somehow program these in. Okay? If you think that this is such an easy thing, you're wrong. Cakes, how come when we look at everyone else's game, they always have way cooler features, Satch? Because I'm fucking new to this, you dummy! I'm new to this, okay? I've never done that before. K2MOI. My man, thank you for five dollars. 
Okay cause I wanted to show you my progress. Building an editor now for the game, still at the beginning but moving slow and steady. I don't use any libraries for text input and output. Support on much. Kofi, https colon slash slash kofi dot com slash kcas no, 77. Thank you very much, uh, Katimoy for five dollars. Thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate it. Sure. Show your progress. Yeah, it takes it takes time to learn this. And even for me now, okay? Mr. Collector of Stuff. They have way cooler things because I have never done that. I've never programmed a game from start to finish. And especially the polishing part is a very big one. Very big one. Video hosting. Void camera. Medium square. Medium square. Medium square. She'll get happy. uniform. It's Unity, right? I don't know what it is, to be honest. I don't know what engine they use. For a second, I thought it was Unreal Engine 5. Camera dot H. Camera center. Camera position. Projection location. Wow, that looks really good. How did you do that? Wow. Man, this looks really good. This menu is already very good. Like, did you draw this yourself, Katimoy? That looks really good. And the menu looks really good too. This is a bit difficult to read here. Yeah. Thanks, man. Wow, you're making good progress. Grid. The Z looks off? What do you mean the Z looks off? They have switched to Unity recently from Electron and Phaser 3, size X. You just added in a more a bigger size. I agree. Huh? I don't understand. You guys, you, do you guys mean that there is a slight space? Top right text. Oh, because it looks like a, a another S. I see. You mean the text? I see. Oh, it looks really good. It looks really good. So now we know how Vampire Survivors is doing it. What can we do when we get a chest? Yoink? No, I don't want to yoink, but I definitely want to... There's another one here. And then they flip this around. Of course, at the end. Unyoink then. Hmm. <coughs> so, I need to unlock items. So, thanks, for example, we have a crude sword, we have a short sword, we have an iron sword, we have wolf's bite, we have a steel sword, we have a gladius. All of these items... Uh, I want to be able to find them, yeah? And so I need a list of unlockable items. And I need to know which item has been unlocked yet or which one hasn't. And I need to keep state of that. And so whenever I drop a chest, um, 
I want to unlock a new item. And I want to make it so that certain items can only be unlocked if you already have some other items unlocked. Or, for example, you can only unlock an item if you have trained a certain item in a level, if that makes sense. Oh my god, this feels so good. So, for example, if I train the crude sword on the defender, right? If I train that, if I train that sword, then uh, I should be able to unlock another item after it. I think I would like to have some sort of progression where you need to have a certain build to unlock more item choices. Uh, you know, as you go along. Like your build, de your build determines uh, what items you drop. Uh, just like in Vampire Survivors, where if you spec two weapons, no, if you spec a weapon and a certain passive together, so an item, an item needs uh, a certain items as Uh, build options uh, to be able to be found. So, this is the idea. I want to have items that I unlock. And if an item is not unlocked, I will not uh, uh, supply it as a choice. But I would like to supply it as a question mark choice. So, to tell the player, oh, there is something that you can unlock. You just don't know how to get it yet. And... Um, Maybe give a hint text about it as well. Question mark choice sounds bad. Cakes. Well, okay, then what else? You just limit choice amount. If I limit the choice amount, then you don't know that it exists. You just limit the choice of Vampire Survivors, you know that some item in this, a combination. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Uh, you do because of this. Where is it? Well, not during the gameplay, but a list of items exists. You don't know a combination exists until you unlock, lock, unlock it by playing. True, that's true. You have unlocks. And then you also have collection. Not yet found. Yeah. We could do it like this. You know, I just have a collection. And then I say not yet found. True. Yeah. And so basically that is this collection. But I need to have a certain amount of items unlocked. Otherwise it makes no sense. Right. But now in the uh, item data... I want to add a condition that says, okay, this, is, this item needs to be unlocked by these amount of items. Or by these items. So basically, item type. Uh, require required items. Max required items. Well, how about we do an array? We could have a required items uh, array on on the item data, and then whenever we, uh, you know. And at most it has five required items or something. We need to have all of these items in order to be able to drop that item. And then we also need to have a drop chance. Uh, how rare is it? Rarity. Uh, orange, blue, yeah. But how rare is the item? And slots. Classes. Yeah, I think that works. 
Required items. Yeah, I think this is good. Then where do we put the list of items? Is that here on the blacksmith? We can buy items from the shop. And we could bu uh, buy items from the blacksmith. Hmm. Can a skill be a requirement for an item? Like when you specify uh, spe specify in water magic, you get water staffs, etc. Hmm. Well, we could add in another array. Skill ID. Or ability ID. Five required abilities. Yeah, we could do that. Stardew Valley, boo. Yeah, is that Stardew Valley? No, this is a sunset from balloons, bro. Hmm. I think this is a good idea. Let's do it like this. Item data does not have any influence over anything, so we could just change it without having to reload the game. And then... Oh, this is so cool. Get item. How about we do the chest first? I want to unlock certain items. Basically, uh, load level. Hey, Mr. Amida, good morning. Load level. No, load game. Let's go! Okay, which items do I want to have unlocked? And also, I think I need to add in... Uh, wait, we need to have like some sort of initialization thing. Mm. Cake Sozin is late today. Hmm. Last time you said it's already a lot of clicking. Yes. Uh, that is because the drops were too much. Uh, if I reduce the amount of drops and if I increase the cooldown, then uh, the clicks will be less. It is definitely a balancing issue right now because the clicks are too much. Like, for example, um, drop, go. Yeah, Ezen is late today. True, he is. Maybe he got tired of the stream and he's gone forever. Mm. Bronze. Oranges add bronze. Yeah, so for example here, uh, this doesn't need to be 5,500, but it should be 100. That would be, what is 100 out of this? <laughs> Should oh, we text there, him on Discord? Maybe he forgot. <laughs> Probably not enough C sharp for him, Kipo. Let's say let's switch to C sharp and summon Azen. Hello, Azen. Good morning. How is it going? Okay, so that is fixed now. Now we have not that many clicks. Okay, Mark is dead. Has component enemy in rent. This is a drop gold. Now we just need to summon coffee underscore lava. <laughs> 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 
Drop gold. Coffee Lava streaming now, I don't know. Uh, drop. Uh, drop chest. Okay, this is where we drop the chest. We do another gold number. And I guess we do it like this. If. Chest number. He's not streaming now, Sag. Chest number. Wasn't he streaming yesterday? Not at the moment. Okay, then we do an else here. An else. Uh, I think I want to put it here. There you go. Okay, now we have the chest number. And I want the chest to be a... Oh, wait. A chest is something that drops. Not randomly. But it only drops off bosses. So if it has like a boss component. So if has components. Target. No, not level reward. Component boss. Then I want to uh, drop a chest. Otherwise I want to drop gold. Last level enemy could drop chest. That way you could get level rewards. Not out of nothing like now. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. There will be special enemies that have the boss component. That are a little bit more difficult to kill. That will drop chests. And there will be... They will not be random. Okay, if we have that, I would like to, and for that we need to add something to the game state. We need to have an array of chest drops. In the game state. Or maybe the, the level state. Right, we have item drop. Yeah, for example, this item drops, right? Want to have an array of... Uh, um, hmm, I don't even know what that is. I just need to count. No, wait, we need a position. Let's see, struct. Chest drop. It has a vector to a position, and what else? For now, I guess it's just a vector to position array. Chest drop. I don't know. Let's say 10 or 20. What are chests for? Quality, quantity, special chest, only items, quality increase. Chests will contain items. This is what I want. Okay, I don't know what else the chest drop should have because the result of the chest is only un uh, revealed when it's dropped. So, yeah. Okay, now we have that here and then we need to have something in the game. I want to do game state level st state dot chest drops dot add and uh, now we just need to have the position which would be target position origin and obviously this is a how about we do that chest drop chest drop is nothing and then we do chest drop dot position is 
target position origin and then we add in the chest drop here god i love programming holy shit i fucking love i love programming yes yes let's go okay get over here oh my legs getting better oh thank you very much for following jam on toast thank you bro excuse me the uh, rocky bullet thank you very much for following too so now that we have the chest roll, we have update and draw seats and uh, i'm gonna do another update and draw chests delta time we don't have that yet we add it right below here let's call it static i'm going to stop using that internal not floats okay and this is obviously a void int chest index is zero chest edx slash then game state no save state yes save state dot chest drops on uh, actually dot count chest index plus plus what do you mean chest drops doesn't exist it does stop complaining chest drop chest drop is game state save state dot chest drops on chest index and then i think i just want to draw a game quad for now and we steal that draw game quad from here real quick uh, that is a sprite I think I have a chest somewhere chest closed and the position is going to be the chest drop position yanking his own code 5 head yes 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 looking good thank you bro thank you chest drop position oh i see should i use a pointer here but i'm not changing it i know that i won't be changing this so i guess we use a dot so i shouldn't use a pointer yeah and then uh, I, i'm gonna yoink the code for this as well also this is 32 by 32 And then picking up seats. Picking up chests. Okay, let me see. Chest position. Wait, actually, that's supposed to be yeah, minus 16. How about we do minus 8 or 12 and then we make it 24 pixels wide, the collider. Because the chest looks like this, right? If this is the middle... Why your game doesn't one, look like two, Starfield. 3, or 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, ten, eleven, twelve. How about we do ten? It doesn't look like Starfield because I'm not making a game like Starfield. I'm making a tower defense game into D, bro. Okay, if we click on the chest right now nothing happens we just remove it for now okay we just remove it Get over here. 
Wow! We just remove it for now. Thank you very much for following, fat unicorn. <laughs> oh, now that I know that. The chest. Why your middle finger looks like Starfield or Baldur's Gate 3. Huh? What is this guy talking about? Okay, now obviously... There is no... Huh? Okay, you're wrong. There is a chest drops uh, array because I just added that, you dummy. Oops, it's level state. Oops, it's not save state. It's level state. It's the state of the level. It's not what we save. Yay! Okay, nice. Nice. I don't know what am I talking about. Not I the best comeback, not gonna lie. When procrastinating. Attention. Now, obviously, uh, Remedy cries because we changed the data and we can't change the data with our current... Oh, I'm not using Delta Time right now, but we're going to use it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now we need to kill a boss. We need to have one unit that is actually a boss and we need to spawn him in any of the rounds. So what that means is we are going to design our first boss now. And I'm thinking about... The following. We're taking this guy right here. We're just giving him a different outline. And maybe a, like a tiny bit of a different color. Uh, turning him effectively into a different unit. Get over here! Can I use that down here? No, I can't. Fuck. I hate this ice crash. Thank you very much for following, Foyza. Welcome. Uh, how about we do Sprite Atlas 1? Do we have space here? Dude, I'm running out of space. There's so many Maybe old sprites. Maybe we tower defense into RTS. Maybe you shut the fuck up and enjoy the tower defense that I'm making because it's going to be glorious and you will enjoy playing the game once it's done. Promise. I promise. Oh, we have space. No, we don't. Fuck. I don't have space. Do I really have to go to Atlas 4? I do. I wanted to add in an armored enemy, but we're going to use this guy for now. Fuck. Hmm. Is this too much like Vampire Survivors? <laughs> it is, right? But I like it. This is going to be our first boss. And then maybe we can also change the color of it a bit. You know? 
making him red. Look at this. Now we have a reskinned or recolored enemy that we could use as our first enemy or unit. Okay, anyways, let's let's continue here. We have the unit. Now we need to add that to our list. Please. You created a new. You created a need. No. No. Bum, 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 bum. I do YouTube too. It's a wild beast, but it's exciting. Oh, you want to link your Jenny, the channel? Rocky uh, Mullet? Or are you like a big YouTuber and you don't want to, you know, show your channel? Skeleton Idle I'm always excited to see You know Other YouTubers Oh yeah, I don't mind don't mind if I do. How long have you been doing YouTube? Uh, till now? And which one, which YouTubers are your inspiration? Well, I don't think Twitch is dying. You should need, you need to look at the metrics other than what people say. Because people say many things. Uh, and they would like to have many things to be true. But uh, that doesn't mean that they are true. If that makes sense. Death. Death starts here. That is on 832. And 576. How many do we have here? Red attack. I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Let me quickly do this here. 672 and then run is 4 frames. We go four frames to the left. That is 544. You scroll at least 10 times over it. <laughs> Horizontal bars. And then the idle is two. Which is 480. Okay, so now we have our red skeleton. At least the animations. And now we need to add that enemy skele skeleton red. I'm going to eat something, have fun importing animations. Oh man. Guten Hunger. And then in it, enemy of type. The cool thing about this is, we no longer need... Oops. We no longer need uh, level-based stats. No. For example, we don't need this growth here anymore, the stat growth, because they will, they will always have the stats. Oh no! Deleting more code! Eh? No, we're not. No.
Uh, the problem with... Uh, that would just be alone. That would be sad. Okay, we don't want to have any health growth here because they're always going to be level 1. So now we can actually work on the stats properly. Tide Beaver, what are you trying to make fun of here, huh? Huh? What are you trying to say? Hmm? TikTok is communist, stay away from it. I see zero to 700. <laughs> This guy needs to be E components component boss. Does he draw plates? Do I no longer I have the boss component? Okay, so this guy needs to be a boss. And uh, his health needs to be high, like two thousand at minimum. And armor should be okay. The resistances could also be okay. Maybe he gets a uh, cold lightning and fire resistance. And then maybe even poison resistance. Do I have poison resistance? I do. Okay. Hero of type, enemy of type. So we have this boss dude here, and I want to spawn him in round two, I think. Let's spawn him in round two and see if he drops a chest. If he drops a chest, then we see it. Yeah, okay, so we just need to add this guy into the drops. Uh, let me get to the, to the list. Uh, where's that? I think it's called spawns. So round two, I want to add in another type. And I want to spawn one of them. Right? I want to spawn one enemy skeleton red. I want to spawn one red skeleton that spawns in round two after 20 seconds. And the cool thing is... Get over here. Now he's in the game. He's now in the game. I don't have to restart. And we just start playing to round two. Thank you very much for following eight uh, hours. Guy, I have a question. Yes, Guy. Can you change the FPS, 60 FPS, 30 FPS of your game? No. Nope. And I hope that he drops a chest. I really do. Why is he doing so much damage? <laughs> He's doing 80 damage to these guys. Uh oh. I can't kill them all. Uh oh. Squirt, squirt. Okay. Now round two. Fight. Fight two. Cakes, I'm assuming your game, uh, in your game you don't have the need to implement frustum culling. No, because frustum culling is done by looking at the screen and then everything that is outside of the screen fully. And we just discard it. <laughs> we just continue and, uh, uh, you know, draw the next. So if a unit is outside the screen...
Hä? Resistances. Hä? Hä? This is the boss right here. He's white. How do you even debug this when uh, something goes wrong? Um, I use a program called RemedyBG. Have you heard about it? Um, it looks a little bit weird because it doesn't have colors, unfortunately. And I hope he adds the colors at some point. Um, but this program uh, is basically a debugger for C++. And so if something goes wrong or weird, I just set a breakpoint where I want to debug my level. And then I look at the data inside of it. That's how I do it. That's kind of interesting. Like, how did you do that before? Or how did you learn to debug stuff before? Is there like something else that you did? Oh, he's doing 80 damage because of meta progression, is he? I really don't like this tree, guys. I hate it. This tree is pissing me off. Goodbye. Oh, I missed that shit. Oh, wow. We got a yellow. We got a... Wow. Boom. 25 gold. You were deleting gold. code and now you even delete trees. You were deleting code and now deleting trees. Okay, please work. Unless he's invisible because I didn't export the texture yet. Please work. 20 seconds, boys. Uh-oh. There's the boss. Wait! Hä? Huh? <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, wait. Four? Four? There we go. Okay, this guy, if we kill him, he's going to drop a chest. This is the first boss. Why is he spawning too? You're not supposed to spawn to. Uh oh. Wait, we need more money. He's too he's too powerful. More money. Spawn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Please drop a chest. Oh! Look, why debug break? Oh, he's dropping a chest every frame. Right? It worked, but it didn't. No, it works. It works. It works. Wait. It's just an assertion. And I saved the game before. It's a quick... Uh, chests. When I'm removing the chest upon hovering over it. Key pressed this frame, key left mouse. I want to press the left key to pick it up as well. And then I also, instead of removing from the seats, I need to remove from the chests. Chest drops. There you go. And uh, yeah. What? What? Oh. A 
Attention. Building completed. Everything's fine, guys, because I can load. See that? We have the chest now. Okay, cool. Now that we have the chest, I want this guy to have Ice Bane, because then he can chill him and we can kill him as well. What do we do with this? I think I want to animate it with a big arrow. Do you guys think the chest is too big? Also, the the layering of the chest is off, right? Seems okay to me. You think it's big enough? I definitely want to have an animation. Like, where's the chest? Number. No, chest is perfect, but make sure it drops. It has an animation. Yeah, I want to do something like the following. Let's get the chest here. <laughs> Pepelusa, yeah. That's a big Pepelusa. <laughs> what a nub. Yikes. Number. New. I want to... I, we have seen that before, but I want this. Just a simple arrow with, I guess, an outline. This is not a YouTube thumbnail. Please stop adding arrows everywhere. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. Hmm. It's not thick enough. Too much versus uh, vampire survivor's inspiration. Hey, listen. Is it bad to be inspired by Vampire Survivors? I would say no. I would say it is good. What do you think? Hmm? Yeah? Then you're wrong, sir. I think you are wrong. But it looks like a one-to-one -one copy, yep. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. Uh, well, what else should I do? You know. <laughs> Next, he will have the arrow move up and down. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> that's actually what I wanted to do. I wanted to move the arrow up and down, man. Uh, make a sound when it drops. <sighs> so much work. Hello, that gun. Hun. You mean just to make something like this? I mean, if it works, don't fix anything that ain't broke. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. Thank you, Ben. Exactly. You're wrong. You're right. These guys are just wrong and they're jealous. That's everything. True. If it works, steal it. Exactly. Exactly. Did you make the other sprites? Yes, I made all of it. Get uh, over here! <laughs> thank you very much for following. Um, case, sprite, 
Oink, oink, oink. Chest arrow. It is how it is. Okay. We are in Texture Atlas 2. Uh, we have one frame that is 16 by 16. Get over here! We don't have any frames. Cake has, what language will we fail to create a Twitch bot in today? Woke has, I'm totally so jealous. Please, can you, like, draw more of those perfect arrows? <laughs> okay, bro. How, why don't I believe, why am I not believing you? Blah, 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 so, Bizo, you might have not been there yesterday, but... We actually managed to get follower notifications in the Python Twitch bot working, okay, with a video. Okay. A sprite? Yeah, A sprite is great. I thank you guys for following Headpatter and Alagan. He literally uncommented three lines wrong. I wrote in a line I wrote in one line of code as well. So you're wrong. And you are a hater. Okay, so whenever we have a, a chest, right? I want to draw another game quad. That is the sprite chest arrow. And... Get over here! In a certain position. Right, the layer has to be almost the same. as the chest layer. Right, thank you very much for following uh, Juan C-Stars uh, as well. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. I think the chests are put too big, to be honest with you guys. I think they are way too big. I want them to be smaller. How come they didn't die? What do you mean? Kill them. I thought they would all die. How many is that? Uh oh. And also, how did I get alive? Six. Blah, 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 blah. So I want to take Big the chest, chest position. More minus milk. 16. And then, uh, mm, how do we do that? I guess we do X and Y separately. Thirty-two. Titties. <laughs> oh my god, that's huge! I forgot that this is 16 by 16. Oh, every time I recompile. Attention, building completed. There's a new. Oh, minus 16 is not. Is too much on X. Still minus eight. Attention. Okay. <laughs> then how about we do twenty-four? Attention. Building completed. <laughs> it looks literally like a copy. Attention, building completed. Attention. Building completed. What the fuck? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 
blah, blah, blah. Building complete. Why is it so blah, much? Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Ah. Blah, blah, like blah, this. blah. Plus. It is pl it needs to be plus. Attention. Building completed. There you go, guys. Look at this. Two chests with arrows. And I recompiled the game so much that I spawned the second round ten times. Can my units beat these guys? Are we able to beat them? That is the big question. Is it possible for us to destroy them? I don't think it is. But maybe we are. Let's spawn a bunch of trees. We need... We need a lot of money to beat them. And the game is lagging as well. The game starts to lag with this many enemies. We need more money. More money. More money. More money. More money. More money. I don't think it's enough. Lagging because you are debugging or does the game actually lag? It's lagging because the render is bad. Uh, the game code in itself is not bad, but the render is bad. Cake has the top left cake is holding sword wrong side. This guy right here? No, he's not. No, he's not. This looks uh, how I intended it. I don't think I can beat all of these. This is like 40, 50 enemies. It's oh, I see. My mistake. It's fine. <clears throat> Vulcan, why are you using Vulcan? Because I thought I would be smart Misunderstanding. using Vulcan. But there was a mistake. Okay, if we click on it, I'm going to uh, push an active drop down, and that would be the uh, open. Game state, open chest ID. So we don't have that yet, but we will add that in. I can't move. I can't move my cursor. I can't move my cursor. I can. No. Okay, open chest ID. Uh, this is for a drop down, and unfortunately, guys, what will chests have? Chests with gold. Chests will have gold, and chests will have item drops. And this is what we were talking about earlier. How uh, item data? Do we have that here? No. I item data. Oh, excuse me. Um, Item items will have requirements and these requirements are based on other items and abilities trained uh, uh, abilities unlocked or leveled up and then uh, we have what is this oh yeah in the game stage we have unlocked items pool 8 this basically means uh, if a chest is opened and I can unlock a new item, I will create a list of items that I can unlock and then I will roll through them and uh, display them. I will basically display them all and then I roll through them to be unlocked and then uh, basically almost like a vampire survivors. And so in order to do that, I need a pop-up or like a... Not a pop-up, but a... Not that again. It's not a pop-up. 
not the same not the fucking clip man it's not a pop-up but a it's also not a, <laughs> it's not a what is that man <laughs> pop down no it is a, a it's a it's like a dialogue thing a copy I uh no Ashenovs and that that clip is not gonna play. <laughs> modal, yeah, something like a modal, two tip modal, yeah, like a modal. Thank you, man. Thank I you. I don't know how to explain that because it's starting to get fucking difficult. Close up? No, no, close down. <laughs> Where's this guy shooting at, by the way? So much luck! This is me this! This is me that! <laughs> okay, let me see here. Uh, and yeah, I need to draw one. I don't have one. All those ideas are already outdated. We need to make open world with planets and bears that can I have this. you up. I could make something like that, I guess. Cake siege. <laughs> I could make something like that, I guess, quickly. <laughs> God, I have too many layers. It's on layer two, uh, okay. Cakes, do you remember the time when you said you wanted a game where you had to care about strategy and all that? Mm -hmm. Well. Mm -hmm. To me, it seems you added <laughs> coins and now a chest. Well, I figure the chest is gonna drop random loot, and sometimes yeah. you get lucky. Yeah, yeah, it is. And? And? It's unlocking items, bro. It is unlocking items. It is exploring the level, the game. Doesn't look it like is... a tower defense game to me, bye. Time to abuse Doesn't the look like a tower defense game to me, free. bye. I'm a fucking toxic pure first time chatter. Doesn't look like a tower defense game to me. Oh, this guy's not doing a tower defense game. He's that doing makes something it for a matter of luck, not skill. Fucking, heap, fucking bitch. He's not programming at all. It's fought advertising on Twitch. Fuck off, bitch. From TTS is fucking trying. I've been uh, fucking uh, trying this for hours. Who is this guy? The is strategy of the game, spam trees, spam cheapest unit, win. What are we listening to here? What are we listening to? Come on, I want to draw your eyes bright. There you go. Uh oh. Okay, fine. How about we call it Sprite Chest Open BG? Where is that shit? Guys, my leg hurts. So guys, I have a question for you. I started a tutorial and I started making the videos for it, right? The Celeste clone. Uh, what I have is the build system in the first tutorial and the Windows window in the second. What should we do next? Logger? Schnitzelib? Is the logger the best thing to do next? Actually, I think you are wrong in this instance if you simply check the message I sent before this. One will clearly see that I am right in this essay. <laughs> P 
Python bot. I don't want to do the Python bot now. Sorry. Don't want to do it right now. I ask, I'm asking about something else. Part-time streamer? Fuck you. Are we winning? Yes, Dagomath, we are winning. Building completed. Why is it complaining now? What do you want? Hmm? Glyph? Sounds odd. There's no time for C sharp, only time to log in. Yeah, supposedly there too. Debug break. Hmm. I guess I have to replay. Or oh, button assembly. Guys, what the fuck are you talking about? Pass the spots on the planet. Good, works very well. I need more money. Oh wow, I got a uh, got a fucking silver apple. Faster spot. Yo, bot in library, bot in binary code. Okay, now when I click on this. Can you sell your towers? Oh. Should be open chest ID, not the win slash. It popped it it basically pushed the wrong one. Ah, wait. I know why. Can you sell your towers? No, not yet. Would be a cool idea to do so, though. If you are going to code in binary, I only have one thing to say to you. Attention. O one double O triple one O O double one O double one double one. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, I need to restart, of course. Fuck, man. Cause in it game. Fastest spot on the planet, guys. We're going to program the bot in Python. Uh, I give up on the C++ bot. Uh, maybe in the future I can pay someone to do, do it in C++. You do a very nice art. So jealous. Hey, thank you, man. But my art started Kate, out you very need to bad. Be able to sell towers. Very badly. In blooms, you build four banana farms, then one small one. If you use boat strat, you can get a monkey bank turn 15 or turn 16. The game is no skill without it. Should be good enough. All right. So, yeah, I wanna wanna do selling. We can do selling. Cakes, I can't get you up. Stop changing language daily. What do you mean changing language? Huh? Yeah, uh, but bro, uh, Alex, I started out terrible in art. Uh, it is just practice. Uh, I'm doing it mostly daily. And that's just how you get better. It's practice. It's the same with programming. And the same thing that we talked about earlier with uh, 
You know how to get into programming. I did the short way. My friend is an artist and we made a studio. Programming is my professional career, so for me it's a natural thing. Ah, oh, that's also very good if you can do that. Yeah, if you have someone that does the art for you and you just do the programming, that is definitely a win-win situation. Because then one person just does the art all the time and you do the programming. And I would love to have someone that would do that for me, but currently I can't pay someone to do that. So maybe in the future. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't look right. Oh, I think it's in it's in three, not in four. That's too small. It's too small. Way too small. And it's still running. The game's still running. Do I ever return here? Break. Might be a break. Attention. Building complete. Eh? Why is the program still running? That shouldn't happen. Ah, okay, because I'm not pausing it. Attention. Okay. Building completed. I need a nine sliced menu because this. Okay, fine. We make it big. Just this once. Because I really want to see how it looks. But I need to do a nine sliced menu thing. Just trying it out probably will not make anything worthwhile. You mean in terms of pixel? Uh, you mean in terms of programming? Or like, are you a very good artist? Like, can you, like, do you do pixel art or what type of art do you do? Uh, 224, 304. Cool thing is this will just change if I change it here. So if I do 224 and then uh, 304 and then I build. Attention. Building complete. Okay, I need to change the subsize too. It's my own fault for having such a dumb bad system I think it still needs one or two more guys what are we listening to here supposed to be relaxing not like some weird game music that tries to kill you feels like it is ticking time bomb We are in combat mode, yeah, apparently. 272. Tech has, your user interface looks like it is right from 90s. Yeah, you're wrong, you're wrong. It looks like it fits the style of the game. Okay, bro, it looks good. It is wood. It fits the style of the game. You're wrong. You're wrong, fuck you. Bitch. Be right back watching three ads. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. <sighs> Welcome back. Relax. Don't too be excited. Rude. Too excited.
I am leaving because it is not very nice of your rude piece of cake. Dragomith is fighting cake as 77. Dragomith won with 27 health left. Why am I losing all the time? This sucks. Shade 11 is fighting Cake as 77. Cake as 77 won with 77 health left. Cake as 77 leveled up to 2. Oh, you I'm are level 2. Because you. No, now I'm level 2. You're going to lose soon, guys. Alex Temino is fighting Shade 11. Alex Termina 1 with 7 health left. <sighs> you know what? The chest open position will change, whatever. It is how it is. Now, I want to draw another UI sprite. Dragomith is fighting Shade 11. Shade 11 won with 116 health left. Now we have the chest open. Fuck you! What do you mean? Shade 11 is fighting Alex. Oh, Tenner. my man, push. Welcome, bro. Shady 11 won with 104 hey. health left. Show me the back! Attention. Building the chest is too small. The journey is usually the part that you remember anyways. Limao, Limao. Attention, building completed. Guys, there's our chest. Woo! We have it, boys. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna move this to the left, the menu. Then we can, you know, make this a little bit bigger and program it better. Poggies, yes. Titties. How's it going, Bush, my man? To 72. Divided by 2, I think. And then... Three hundred and four divided by 2. I think. That's the chest size. And then I want to put the chest position. Uh, plus the size divided by 2. You know what? I'm just gonna add in a vector 2 arbitrarily. Classic, yeah, you missed nothing. <laughs> Building 
balls 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 hungry face inverted <laughs> Funny how I didn't do anything to the crazy. Balls. 172 divided by 2 is... 36. 86. Minus... Half the size of the chest, 16, so that is 70. And then, Balls if we are 300 titties. pixels down, then how about we do... 152? 152 pixels. Minus 32 is 140, uh, 120. Minus some padding. How about we do 110? Uh. Magic numbers for the win. Attention. Shit. Building completed. I didn't calculate correctly. <laughs> That's fine. 35. Just gonna position it. Attention. Okay, Building 45. Completed. 40. Dragomyth is fighting Big Gusabobarasu. Ah! It was a draw. <laughs> it was actually a draw, really? What? Yeah, that can happen too. Attention. Building completed. Attention. Building completed. Shade 11 is fighting Big Gusabobarasu. Bigger sub one with 34 <laughs> health left. Bigger Sabobarasu is fighting Dragomyth. Dragomyth won with 109 health left. I'm gonna have an item choice that happens when the animation time is over. const oh i'm actually using a const guys oh my god <laughs> what happened what did i do no i'm sorry <laughs> What the fuck is that? Microsoft Office? I didn't want to start that trash. <laughs> Jesus, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Back when hitting the desk, did some uh, random action. Shade Eleven is fighting Bigger oh, Sub. What's wrong with Const? I don't like it. That's all. Bigger Sub like Oberosu won with 140 health left. There's Const expression. There's Const. Back and I'm to like, the important stuff instead of tussling with these no good ruffian rap scallions. 
Balls, 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 hungry face, hungry face, hungry face. No spitting is fighting bigger suburbosu. It was a draw. Balls, balls, balls. You trimmed your hair but you didn't trim clips mid a go well one day a peepo clap. Don't victim blame. <laughs> okay bro. Tits did it titus distest. Cut clapping! I love it! Sorry. Mm. I had some time. So let's see. If game state, save state, or do we have the save state here? We don't. Dot unlocked items on item type. If that is not unlocked yet, then I want to add that to item choices. Dot add. The element. And once item choices dot is full, if it is full, then we break out. So we collect all of the item choices on the animation time if it's zero and then I think I just want to display all of the item choices or no actually I want to do a random one I want to do I want to pick a random one but I would like to animate them Int item index is anim time times item choices dot count. Kekes, do you remember the other day when you said, I will make Aizen a mod because he adds so much to the community. Yet I notice it's not done yet. Did you back out on your word? Huh? Can we not trust anything you say anymore? Huh? <sighs> Aizen, do you want to be a mod? I don't even know if I said that or not, okay? I don't even know if I did say that or not. Okay, Kiwi, uh, I think you just want you just want to troll me. I would assume that Aizen does not want to be a mod. If Aizen wants to be a mod, you can have it. Aizen a mod? Awkward monkey. I would support it if he wants to. I got asked before TCAP. UHM. I think you got asked before TCAP, yeah. And so see, he's not saying yes and he's not saying no. So Kate, he's uncomfortable with saying no, so no. Yeah, you can. Are you sure pay to win? Easy. Let's see. Draw. Let's draw the item. Draw item. I want to see that, man.
but Ozin is a mod of coffee underscore lava so he must want it so bad, he is probably too peepo shy to ask you. No, I think... See, this is what I said before as well. Uh, I said that before as well. If someone doesn't say please yes or yes I want to be mod, then they are unsure and they maybe don't want to say no. And uh, so if someone does not say yes to me, then I do not want to put that burden on them. Because it can be a burden to some people. And uh, <clears throat> Chat seems to be bullying Aizen at the moment. Unpaid internship. <laughs> you do this stuff if you want to support someone, bro. You don't do it for the money. Shit. Cakes, why don't you ever do the thing where you ask your viewers to prime it up? I see streamers who are millionaires who do that. Sometimes they even dedicate the first of the month as a subathon because they know people just got paid. Those greedy bastards. Paid internship, but you pay the employer. I believe in good content. I believe in good content, man. I believe in improving my content. I believe in uh, content and uh, supplying value and the rest will follow. Attention. <gasps> Building complete. Come on, I like why to are you complaining? Keggers. A lot of fun greater than D. Which type are we looking at here? Item none. Hmm. Ah. Keggs, you see what Ben is saying? You are planning to take that away. But constant fart noises make me sub. Got a lot of the good content. <laughs> um yeah sometimes i can't speak at all which is annoying it works this is the item that we're looking at it looks a bit weird <laughs> but that's the wooden sword Now we can draw it in a different position. I think what I want to do... But then it would never be random. It would never be random. Unless... We have a static... No, we, we think we can have a float random choice or int random choice is zero and then whenever this is no it needs to be a static int unfortunately static int and then whenever this is zero we clear we fill the item choices and then we do the random choice is random Modulo, uh, let's say 50 or 40. Uh, no, wait, actually, I want to modulo by two, no, 30. Then I, um, 
how about we do a random range? Between 20 and 30. Hmm. No, that's bad. No, that is bad. I have to make a random choice. Float. Good afternoon, cakers and gamers. What are we making today? Hello there, we're making a slot machine. <laughs> we're making a slot machine, bro. So I hope that this tie for the sub sir clousy. Right, and M time plus delta time. Waiting for Tyler Javor to jump on top. <laughs> okay, so now this will, will go definitely go to zero. Thank you, guys. We completed a hype train. Share. The emotes still suck. But I really appreciate the support from everyone. Thank you, everyone. Okay, what I'm trying to do here, for those of you that don't understand, I'm trying to make a random choice by floating the items or flashing the items very fast and i want this to go slower and slower and the item index is supposed to be animated over time and once the time and we are drawing the item all the time and once the time is done hopefully this works let's just see if it works attention building completed okay Doesn't look like it is. Attention, building completed. Can't wait for a broken ass slot machine. <laughs> Why did it not animate again? I thought the animation time resets whenever I rebuild the game. This should be zero. Why is it not rebuilding? You're supposed to rebuild my life. Why is a thousand too much? Attention. Building complete. Static variables should reset back to their original value. Whenever you build, I'm confused. There's something I'm missing. Oh, the item is unlocked already, isn't it? But no, that's still not unlocked. Guys, it's been uh, it's been too long. 
Uh, I want to work on the Celeste clone. 